when you look at the WCC right now, and, and you and I and Greg on our regional broadcast, we've got a friendly banter back and forth. I continue to say the WCC is much improved. It hasn't proven it out yet, but it's looking like that might be the case this year. Now I can see your your kind of look of all right, no, where are we no, going no, no, with this? I, I'm, you're I'm not just as thinking about our conversations, yeah. Yeah, you're not as anti WCC as Greg is at times. But when when you look at it, who are you most looking forward to seeing if they're for real this year? Because right now there's four teams in the top 40 of Ken Palm and Net in the league. And if that holds true, yeah. that's four teams in the NCAA tournament. Which one are you still kind of on the fence about and really want to see them get through the, the, the start, at least, of conference play? Well, I mean, look, I, 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 what is it, Lenardi has four WCC teams in right now. I don't, I don't, I can't remember that happening since I've been around, around the league. Um, it's not that the league hasn't gotten better. You know, I, I'll answer your question, but I think part of it is Gonzaga every year makes this like, yeah, these jumps that aren't, aren't really reasonable for most other programs in the country. It's usually more incremental. And I think the league has done that, but Gonzaga just continues to outpace that growth every year, at least the last five or six. And so I think that's why, even though Gonzaga continues to kind of run through the league most years, it's not necessarily that the league is not as good as people think it, think it is. It's just Gonzaga is better, so much that much better than the league. Uh, I, I'm really interested to see San Francisco. I mean, they've obviously had – I'm disappointed the game's not happening uh, tomorrow night. Uh, that's a game I hope that they're able to reschedule because I, I do think they're good. Um, but I'd like to see them up against GU. And I, it's not so much whether or not they want to lose the game, but just how they compete, you know, and, and how they can um, play the Zags. And, you know, I, I've got a lot of confidence in in uh, Bennett at, at St. Mary's, you know, whether he's bringing everybody back or he's got to kind of retool the the, the roster. He's such a good coach. They're going to make your life difficult. Um, and they look to be pretty solid this year. They're not as athletic as Gonzaga, certainly, but nobody is. And I, I've seen BYU play more than the other two, and they look awfully tough. Now, I believe they've had some injuries, too, that that uh, that doesn't help them. But, you know, all three of those teams are good. And Santa Clara, quite frankly, what are they, 10 and 5? You know, they're a program that, you know, I, I think – everybody else in the league needs to look at it if they had to because they've put they've really spent a lot of money to try to improve athletics generally but basketball specifically um that's a program that should be good year in and year out yeah they they've got a kind of up and down history but the the, right. the good points of their history is very good with steve nash uh, quickly coming to mind when when you look back at your college career, you started at Colorado, you moved on to Gonzaga. So you've played for uh, two different head coaches, first yeah. at Colorado, now then at GU for Coach Few mm -hmm. early in his career. When you look at this group of WCC coaches and you get a chance to talk to, to quite a bit of them with our prep for broadcast, is there one coach in the WCC that you would have wanted to play for if it weren't for Mark Few? Yeah, probably Mark Pope. I would have been. I would love to play for a guy who played in the post. <laughs> <laughs> How often does that happen? I mean, as a big guy, uh, uh, you know, it, it's pretty uncommon. You don't see a lot of uh, six ten guys roaming the sidelines. But um, I think the, the league's always had, for the most part, you know, high level coaching. Um, you know, I mean, you just look through the years. It's been, it's been just good. Um, and consistent, you know, we don't have the same rate of turnover as you see in bigger conferences. Um, and I think that consistency, Gonzaga certainly kind of leads the, the league in that. And, and, and St. Mary's is right there with how long Bennett's been there. But when you're able to, to stay in the same place for a while and just take those incremental steps, and you're not as worried as you would be in a larger conference about, you know, what, what have we done in the tournaments, you know you just you're able to have a longer runway um, I think that we see that in the league and I think the coaching for the most part across the board is good yeah there's some really good coaches in in this league and uh, I, I don't disagree with you I think Mark Pope would be a fun coach to play for as a guard as well because he gives a lot of freedom but right. I understand the post affinity you and I usually have that friendly back and forth you focus on bigs and the positives they're doing I focus on the guards so 